Hello students, today we will be talking about the MCQs based on the endocrine system. Now the very first question is that deficiency of ADH causes. First of all you must know that what is the full form of ADH. ADH means what? Anti-diuretic hormone. And this hormone is released by posterior lobe of pituitary of pituitary okay now this hormone ADH hormone is responsible for concentration of urine what I want to say that due to the presence of the ADH hormone the distal convoluted tubule of the nephron reabsorbs the water from the glomerular filtrate okay so the urine which is released out of the body is concentrated but due to certain reasons if the ADH becomes deficient in the body in that case the urine becomes diluted and more and more amount of the water will be released out through the urine and in that case person suffers from a disease known as the diabetes insipidus the point to be noted here is that we are not talking about the diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus is generally called a sugar that is actually caused by the deficiency of the insulin right but here the question is that deficiency of the ADH causes deficiency of ADH causes a disease called as the diabetes insipidus not diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus is caused by the deficiency of insulin it causes what diabetes insipidus now the question arises that what causes the deficiency of the ADH in body so ADH becomes deficient because of intake of because of intake of diuretic substances there are certain substances such as tea alcohol and coffee the most drastic of these is alcohol the second one is the coffee and then comes the tea these are the diuretic substances right which reduces the ADH level in body because of which what happens that the because of the deficiency of the ADH the DCT distal convoluted tubule of the nephron is not able to reabsorb water from the glomerular filtrate so more and more water is released and polyuria is caused which is the major symptom of the diabetes insipidus so altogether we can say the deficiency of the ADH causes diabetes insipidus now coming to the second question that is which of the following gland is called as 4S gland which of the following is called as 4S gland now what is the meaning of the 4S 4S means what S S S and S S means what that is sugar salt sex stress okay sugar salt sex stress this is mean by the word 4s now here the question is that which of the following gland is called as 4s gland so you must remember this thing that all these four processes sugar salt sex stress all these four processes are regulated in our body by a gland that is known as the adrenal gland which is also called as the suprarenal gland because it is found above the kidney and that's why it is also called a suprarenal gland so which of the following gland is called as 4s gland so we can say that pancreas thyroid adrenal parathyroid though the C1 that is adrenal gland is responsible for the these four processes sugar salt sex and stress then comes the third question that is according to one of the theories of aging the decline and disappearance of which gland by late middle age is primary cause of aging so you must know that there is a gland in the body known as the thymus gland there is a gland in the body known as thymus gland and this is the only gland this is the only gland which deteriorates or destroys 
विथ टाइम एंड कॉजेज एंड कॉजेज एजिंग ओके थाइमस ग्लैंड इज द ओनली ग्लैंड थाइमस ग्लैंड इज द ओनली ग्लैंड विच डिस्ट्रॉयज विथ टाइम एंड कॉजेज एजिंग सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू वन ऑफ द थ्योरीज ऑफ एजिंग the decline and disappearance of which gland by late middle age is the primary cause of aging so out of these four options the best option is the thymus gland the thymus gland is prominent at the time of the birth but at the time of the puberty it declines okay so this is the major cause of the aging so the answer is thymus then comes the fourth question and that is progesterone hormone is secreted by now this hormone is very very important one progesterone now this progesterone hormone you must know that it is secreted by corpus luteum now corpus luteum is a yellow endocrine structure it is a yellow endocrine structure okay progesterone hormone is secreted by corpus luteum now the question arises from where the corpus luteum is formed so we know very well that during the menstrual cycle on the 14th day of the menstrual cycle ovulation occur and during the process of the ovulation graphene follicle burst right and ovum is released out now what happens to the empty graphene follicle so remember that empty graphene follicle empty graphene follicle is converted to converted to a yellow endocrine structure called corpus luteum called corpus luteum and this corpus luteum as it is endocrine in nature it releases a hormone known as progesterone hormone now this progesterone hormone is very important for the maintenance of the endometrium it is important for the maintenance of the endometrium of the uterus and it is also said that it is it is pregnancy maintaining hormone in the absence of the progesterone hormone the abortion will occur in mother okay so it is pregnancy maintaining hormone we can also say that it is actually important for the maintenance of the endometrium in the mother's uterus okay now the next question is the fifth one which hormone increases which hormone increases the blood sugar level which hormone increases blood sugar level now volume of the blood in the blood vessel and rate of heartbeat see here which hormone can increase the blood sugar level volume of blood in vessel and rate of heartbeat now all these are actually the conditions which occur during emergency all these conditions occur during emergency okay and we must know that there is an emergency hormone in our body right known as adrenaline which is released by which gland which is released by adrenal gland which is released by adrenal gland there is a emergency hormone known as the adrenaline released by the adrenal gland and this is released during the emergency conditions now what happens at the time of the inner emergency during the emergency uh, there are many symptoms which occur in the body say for the sugar level increases okay volume of the blood in the blood vessel increase heart beat increase okay goose flesh or we can say that that is the hairs uh, present on the body will become erect okay and uh, uh, the pupil will uh, dilate okay these are the symptoms which occur during the emergency so few few symptoms are given here which occurs at the time of the emergency now see what options are given for uh, this question fsh insulin adrenaline and all of this as we know very well that it is an emergency adrenaline is an emergency hormone and all these symptoms occur at the time of emergency hence we can say that this uh, option is the correct one so dear student these were the mcqs on the endocrine system okay we'll be coming with few more mcqs on different uh, chapters of the biology keep watching thanks a lot